leather in all its shapes, sizes, qualities, and colors is what we're going to talk about today. Hi, my name is Lindsay Douglas, and it'll be my pleasure to give you some helpful facts and figures as we survey the fascinating world of Hancock and Moore leather. Go into your neighborhood store, and you will doubtless see sofas for under $1,000, not sitting far from sofas made by Hancock and Moore for $4,000 or more. Alongside these other Hancock and Moore styles priced at two to three times the competitors. This video will help you understand why that price differential, as well as giving you the information you need to inform and guide your best choices. The first mark of Hancock and Moore's focus on quality comes from their preference for raw hides from 18 month old steers, primarily from the US, but also sourced from the world's best hides, which come from Northern European countries such as Germany and the Netherlands. Buying fine hides constitutes more than one third of Hancock and Moore's overall costs. And no matter the price, Hancock and Moore seeks out the highest quality leather for its products. With an industry leading 400 or so choices of leather on hand in a vast range of colors and finishes, Hancock and Moore sets the platinum standard for consumers. On a typical Hancock and Moore sofa, like this magnificent Sundance, there are between 260 and 400 square feet of leather, or five to seven whole steer hides. Imagine that. Look at this. To present attractively seamless outside arms and backs, Hancock and Moore's craftsman is using two full hides just to complete those parts of a single wing chair. Why does this matter? There are approximately four square feet of leather in a pair of men's shoes like these. Now divide four square feet of leather into the 300 or so required for the average Hancock and Moore sofa, and mathematics decrees that there is 75 times the amount of leather in a sofa as in this pair of shoes. So what would you pay for a good pair of leather shoes? At least $240, wouldn't you say? That would make the equivalent cost of a Hancock and Moore sofa $18,000, or almost five times its actual cost. Now, there's a mind-boggling number that will put your expensive furniture purchase into perspective. And by the way, that doesn't count the cost of using certified, wormhole-free, 20-quarter maple framing lumber. Four rows of coils for exceptionally comfortable seating, rather than the customary three. Eight-way hand tying to ensure maximum durability and integrity for each and every coil. And Qualitex to provide the very best in cushion cores. And I'm just scratching the surface. In fact, almost 80 hours of handcrafted labor goes into making one Hancock & Moore sofa. Unlike a $990 so-called bargain sofa, which has also almost certainly been upholstered with inferior leather, such as bonded leather, you see, leather scraps don't end up in landfills these days, but are reconstituted as bonded leather, top grain split match, or top grain vinyl match. Bonded leather is the worst of the bunch, with less than 20% actual leather content, more like vinyl. Bonded leather is notably less durable and inferior to leather in comfort and feel. In fact, many low-cost sofas combine bonded leather on the body contact surfaces with good old vinyl on the rest of the sofa. That's no bargain buy. And furthermore, when bargain buy furniture is advertised as 100% leather, it is in all probability made of bicast or split leather, wherein a thin backing of real leather is covered with polyurethane and embossed with a simulated leather grain. Regular use often cracks the polyurethane layer, which then pulls away from its leather backing. Many countries outside the U.S. prohibit referring to bonded or bicast leather as genuine or 100% leather. So that's no bargain buy either. Happily, I can get back to the genuine article and take a moment to show you just a few of the fine leathers that Hancock & Moore offers in your choice of upholstery. The quality of Hancock & Moore leather is measured in ascending order from Class 1 through Class 5. These Class 1 leathers are both examples of top grain, fully corrected leather. The first is called Gunner Mocha, and the other, Supple Coal. To ensure uniformity of color, they've been sprayed with pigment, and both have been sanded and embossed with a pleasing, natural-looking grain, and are not only durable, but also easy to clean and maintain. Next, in Class 2, we see Dream Taupe and Piazza Camel. 
The light standing on both is barely noticeable. They've been processed using automated techniques that include surface effects, such as two-tone sauvage and distressed. They've also been repeatedly tumbled to achieve a soft texture. Full top green leather, on the other hand, comes from the premier top portion of the hide. Hancock and Moore Class 3 leathers, such as these, come from that full top grain and represent quality upholstery leather. They are Gaucho Mocha Burnished and Tiburon Chestnut. Just look at the luster on this leather. Hancock and Moore artisans hand rubbed it after the application of two colors, and you can feel the skill of their labor in its soft hand and alluring color effects. These two splendid leathers, Capri Claret and Quintessence Camel, are among the rarest and most expensive that Hancock & Moore offers. Exceptional examples of Class 4 leathers, they are barely processed natural leathers, which exemplify pure or naked, uncorrected leather, which will gain a rich and appealing patina over time. In Class 5, we have Pinto Jet. This leather comes into its own in highly demanding fashion and style applications. It's like touching perfection. Hancock & Moore also proudly offers a line of Class 5 specialty leathers such as lambskin and deerskin, yet again setting industry standards for their rare beauty and exceptional softness. Here we see lambskin parchment and deerskin caramel and steer brindle. An unusual hair on hide along with two uniquely tooled and embossed leathers, Wink Sparkle and Everglades Mocha. Clearly, it takes correspondingly many more of these much smaller specialty hides to cover a piece of furniture, which understandably increases the price as well. Hancock & Moore is one of the few American manufacturers to offer this, a true American bison hide. Look at the thickness and beauty of this magnificent hide and imagine its uniquely stylish impact in your home. From its founding more than 30 years ago, Jimmy Moore has been the dedicated face of Hancock & Moore. The company has always stood firmly behind his personal guarantee that each and every piece of quality built furniture that leaves our workshop has been handcrafted with the care and commitment of some of America's most accomplished artisans. You truly get what you pay for with Hancock & More. If you would like more detailed information about all things leather, please refer to the Hancock & More Glossary of Leather Terms located on our website.